Hi, everybody. This is McLean Warren, and I'm here with Miss Amy Weiss. Um, she has been a good friend of mine and someone that I've looked up to for a while now. Amy, you want to talk to us a little bit about yourself? Well, first of all, thank you, McLean, for having me. It was so awesome meeting you in Miami recently when I was out at uh, Wizards of Amazon meetup. I know. Um, before, so <laughs> before the lockdown, I think that was like the final <laughs> meetup before the lockdown. Exactly. <laughs> It was a good send off to my house. <laughs> yes. So for those of you who don't know me, um, I am an Amazon seller, of course, um, and a business owner. I've been flipping products on Amazon since 2007. I kind of just had like a little side hobby, you know. And in 2017, I went on a journey to invent a product. So I was still working my corporate job and um, and I, you know, decided I was going to invent this product and I didn't really, you know, I didn't really know what I was doing. Right. I had been selling in e-commerce, but inventing something like I had a prototype I built myself at Home Depot, <laughs> you know, and I was like, how do I find a supplier? How do I get right. this thing on the market? So I just started sharing my journey. I just, you know, as I was figuring it out, you know, I didn't want to do, I tried out for Shark Tank. I didn't want to do the, the whole, um, you know, the d product design invent help thing, you know, and pay somebody $50,000 just to take my prototype and turn it into a drawing. What then, you know? Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to figure this out and I'm going to share my journey along the way. And so I developed a, just a small following and, um, and we were all just kind of helping each other out. And that's how my company Amazing at Home was born. Um, and so, you know, now I, I have a four, four online businesses and we have a podcast for Amazon sellers called the Seller Roundtable. And then, you know, I go, I have a China trip. So I take people to China to source twice a year. And, um, and then I have a full private label course and just helping people launch with confidence. Right. So you just started a new private label course called Amazing E-Commerce e Mastermind Group, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And why did you choose to do that instead of just a bunch of webinars? Yeah, I know. Because most of the, you know, I've, I've taken like ASM and some of the other courses and a lot of them you sign up and you just kind of get a bunch of videos and you get kind of lost along the way. Right. So I previously had a, had a full two month long course with um, my previous partner, Steven Selikoff. And we had this program called the Canton Fair Experience. And so you came with us on this two month long, very interactive course in a, in a private group. And um, we did, you know, live sessions, everything like that. And we gave homework and accountability. And then we would meet in China and actually source these products. Um, so, you know, I kind of changed up the format. So many of my clients really wanted just the course. Maybe they weren't ready to go on a, on a sourcing trip yet or something like that, right? So I really beefed up the course because I wanted it to cover some of the things that after you get back from China, like, you know, after you source the product or you find a manufacturer, there's so much more you have to do. You know, you have to design your branding and your website. And there's so much more that you have to get ready to, in order to successfully launch your product. So I've completely revamped the course and I'm just launching it as a course on its own. And the reason I'm doing it in a mastermind format is because I think people really love that engagement. They want to be able to ask questions. What if they have a question in their business that isn't related to the course curriculum that week? Mm -hmm. You know, what if they just need help from other founders? Like, hey, what, what, what do you do right now? Like, for example, right now in the mastermind group, besides our course curriculum that we're focused on, we're also focused on things like, hey, Google Shopping just got opened up for free. You can list your products on Google Shopping. How the heck do you do that? So we're all like working through that together and giving each other tips. And then like the, the Amazon shipping lately, right? So Amazon just changed all their shipping times because, you know, they're not shipping non-essentials. Well, we figured out this kind of, it's not really a hack, but a way to actually merchant fulfill and use your FBA inventory to do that. And, um, and then still get like normal shipping times. So we've been working through that together and just helping each other out. So besides having really great curriculum, it's a community. It's a community of founders that are there because they choose to be there and are there to help each other. 
And so each, is it that, how is it structured? Is it each month you have a different kind of um, topic that you delve into or isn't that kind yeah. of? Yeah, yeah. So like this month, um, well, this previous month. So during April, we did a listing optimization masterclass. So we did 10 different, uh, it was like A to Z, my full listing optimization uh, curriculum. So whenever you join the mastermind, you get 60 days of content. So you get the previous 30 days, which was our listing optimization masterclass. And then you get the current 30 days, whatever we're focused on, which is, you know, what we're focused on this month. But okay. yes, so that's what we were kind of doing is the listing optimization um, masterclass last month. And it was super fun. Everybody got, um, had big results. Like we had people going like overnight, just rewriting their listing going from 800,000 rank up to 100,000 rank, um, getting sales where they previously weren't getting sales. Um, I know how much of a listing optimization nerd you are, McLean. <laughs> and so I know, you know, you have seen those kind of results as well um, in your clients. So it was just really great. I also showed people how to create EBC and A plus content. Um, and a lot of people, that was kind of a mystery to them. So they were excited to do that uh, and to learn about that. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we focused on last month. And now this month, we're actually getting into the course, the, the full, I have a private label course called Concept to Launch. It's this new course that we're talking about. And we're starting that curriculum this month in the masterclass, in the mastermind. And overall, what do you want people to get out of this? What's the main idea or feeling or, you know, what is the main thing you want your students to leave feeling? I want people to be able to launch with confidence. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, you know, like I'm sure you, you have also seen this with the people that you've worked with and I have seen this in my own business. First of all, I have to say leaving my job to do this full time was one of the most terrifying things I have ever done. You know, it's terrifying to go out on your own. And especially if you're new to e-commerce or you're new to private label, um, your, your journey is filled with all these doubts and potential pitfalls. And you're wondering like, okay, is this product a good idea? Can I trust my supplier? <laughs> is this a good price to pay for sourcing this product? What price can I sell this product for? Will people buy it? Right. What the heck are my competitors doing? And can I even do this? And what happens if I fail? Right. So for me, it's really about helping people. There's, I've learned over time and after working with hundreds of entrepreneurs on this process and through my own experience that there are things that you can do to mitigate those doubts and those pitfalls. And it's, it leads to you being able to say, yes, I can launch this product or any product with confidence. As long as I follow these steps and I check these boxes, I can launch with confidence. And that's just, that's huge. Having confidence in your business and in your brand is, is a really big step. So what are you, are you allowed to tell us what those steps are? <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the steps. So, so um, you know, the first thing is you really want to make sure that you have a good product idea. I can't tell you how many clients that have come to me and they'll just do a coaching call with me just to talk their, about their product idea because mm -hmm. they want someone else to say, Oh, this is okay. Yeah, it's a good idea, right? Because we all we don't know, you know. Okay, is this a good product idea? So that's the first question that I'm going to teach people how to answer is yes, this is a good product idea. Um, and then the second thing is validation. So actually understanding how to validate that it's a good idea, not just like between you and your friends and your family. Like your mom is going to tell you it's a good idea. She is. Yeah. She loves yeah. you. <laughs> but we need I like, wouldn't, but most people. <laughs> I know my mom wouldn't either. I think we have that in common, right? The worst thing I've ever seen. I <laughs> my mom would be like, um, you can't do this. Sorry. Um, <laughs> that's, that's why we're successful entrepreneurs because our moms do not accept anything less than perfection. Well, we see a lot of therapists. <laughs> but the, really the second step after you have determined if it's a good product idea and we have a lot of criteria that we teach to, to help you understand like what makes a good idea and how to understand how to come up with ideas. Cause that's the other thing that people struggle with is like, I don't, 
I don't know how to find product ideas like this. This it's you know other than product research software, which we all know is not exactly working anymore. You know, people just generally have a tough time with that. So we have like a, a full course curriculum teaching you how to come up with ideas, teaching you how to number one most important thing is to validate your ideas, right? Validate that people will actually buy, and people are actually searching for what it is that you're planning on launching. So then the next step to launching with confidence is actually being able to develop a product with the features and benefits that you just validated that your buyers want to see, right? So that's, that's the next thing that's so hard for people. They get afraid of actually maybe adding a significant differentiation to a product, like, because they think, well, I don't know how to talk to suppliers. I don't know how to, you know, how to communicate I don't even know how to make that change. I don't know how to communicate that to a supplier. I'm not sure what to do, right? So that's that's a big part. Like product development is a big part of it because even if you're making a small change, um, you know, maybe I'm just you know adding adding lights to my water bottle here. That's okay. that's fine. Seems like a pretty small, insignificant change. But how do you communicate that? How do you find a supplier? How do you even protect that? Like, you know, you come up with a pretty cool differentiation. That's a big worry for people. They're like, how do I make sure that my supply chain is protected? So I covered all of that, like in depth, it's awesome. And then finally, how do you find a manufacturing partner? So, you know, you get through, I got a good idea. I validated my idea. I know how to talk to a manufacturer and find a manufacturer, but then how do you ensure that your manufacturer is not gonna take that idea? How do you protect that, um, that, that idea and your supply chain? But then you mentioned this before we went live. How do you make sure that you can source and sell this product at enough of a profit to actually survive? Yeah. How many people have you seen like they launch and they have no margin? Like 30% is not enough margin. It's not enough margin. You're going to spend more than that on PPC often, you know, because we're making those mistakes in the beginning. We don't necessarily know what we're doing. And so that's just a really, really hard thing. And so we really focus on the numbers. And then finally, once you get all that down, then you're going to validate finally before you launch, you're going to validate that end product and you are going to launch and you're going to launch with confidence and you're going to have an audience to launch to, and you're going to be excited about it because those questions that you had, all those doubts that you had will be answered. So you kick off later today, right? Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> I'm excited tonight. We are kicking off talking about um, the different product types. So, you know, a lot of people uh, aren't really sure what the difference is between commodities or white label products. A lot of people call private label white label. You know, they're not really sure. And, Maybe it doesn't matter, but what we're going to be talking about tonight is what are these different types of products? What business model is right for you? And, um, and really um, the risks and rewards of each product type, right? So that as you kind of start sourcing and, and getting after some of these things, um, then you can kind of have an understanding of, oh, okay, I'm doing white label. Oh, this would be a good white label product. This would be an excellent private label. This is how I would differentiate that. You know, so that's what, that's what we're talking about in tonight's class. Um, but we have a whole month of curriculum planned, so that's kind of fun. Nice. Um, and so how will the format work? Are you just doing live sessions or what if people can't make the live sessions? How is that going down? Yeah, so, I mean, let's talk about what we're gonna focus on this whole month. So we have the virtual Canton Fair coming up, right? Um, the Canton Fair is the largest uh, sourcing exposition in the world, right? And it happens in China twice a year. And because of everything that is going on, um, China <laughs> decided, the Canton Fair people decided to make it virtual. So, you know, the first time they've gone online in 63 years, and we are going to be attending the virtual Canton Fair in a free private Facebook group. So that that's free. You can attend it with us. You know, we can ask questions. We can kind of, it's like a big discussion that we're doing. So if you want to attend that with us, the virtual Canton Fair, um, you can just look for the Facebook group, Amazing in China Canton Fair Trip. It's a Facebook group. You can join it free. 
Um, and what we're going to do in there is we're just going to have a discussion during the live event. You know, we're, we've been putting out information like how to register, you know, and that kind of stuff. But really, when people go to Canton Fair or they're preparing to source on Alibaba or whatever, you know, it requires you to really know what you want to source. And mm -hmm. before you know what you want to source, you really need to understand your numbers. So, you know, yeah, tonight we're talking about product types. But the rest of this month, we're going to get into, after we talk about product types, we're going to get into actually understanding your numbers because the biggest thing that I see over 80% of the people that I talk to are not actually making any money and they're having a tough time understanding what their numbers need to be in order to scale this business. Right. So, and, and not, not all of us can get to 800 SKUs, <laughs> you know, like overnight, like we can't get to 800 SKUs. Like some of, some of the, uh, the big, the big eight figure gurus out there. Right. So it's really important to understand how with just a few products, even one product, um, you can do very, very well. So it's really important to understand what your numbers are. So we're doing a couple of classes on what your num understanding your numbers, your margins, profitability, scalability, what they need to be. The biggest thing that I see is people will often source and they'll pay too much at the manufacturer mm -hmm. and then they'll source and they hope they can sell this product for $50. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's not the right way. You yeah. want to, you want to be, you want to start out being competitive. You want to know what your target prices are going to be, all of that. So we're going to talk about that for basically the first, let's see here, the first three classes are all about numbers and under and setting up a really awesome foundation um, and understanding all of that. And then the rest of the classes this month are focused on, so we go live every Monday at 8 p.m. Central and every Thursday at 7 a.m. Central. And the replays are available in the group if you can't make the live sessions, but two times a week we go live and then you'll get the replays as well. And you can chat inside of the group, leave a question, comment, whatever. We also have a Slack chat. So, but the rest of this month, we're going to be focused on actually coming up with awesome ideas. How do you come up with ideas? How can you discover different niches? Um, a lot of people tell me, Amy, I can't get into the fitness niche or I can't get into the kitchen niche, even though I really love cooking or I really love fitness, it's too saturated. Right. So I'm going to teach you how it's not too saturated, how to find out what differentiations you can make in the marketplace and in those niches to actually be the first to market with an incredible product that people are going to go crazy over. So we're so, going to focus on that. Yeah. Sorry. Do you believe so? Kind of what I heard is that there's no such thing as a bad product, really. Like, do you believe that, that you can make pretty much anything into a good product? Um, I tend not to focus on, on the, on the product per se. I tend to focus more on what you are doing with that product. Right. I do think there's such a thing as a bad product and that's a product that you can't make any money off of. Right. right? A product you have to liquidate <laughs> and give up on is a bad product. But if you actually study the market and um, you know look at the what kind of differentiations people are searching for, you can really come to market with an incredible product. And a lot of people get turned off by that because they're afraid. You know, they they meet me and they're like, "Well, Amy, you invented something. I don't want to invent something." Well, you don't necessarily have to invent something. Sometimes just putting a cool design on something can make it sell better. Sometimes, you know, as long as that differentiation is something that your customers are looking for and that a hundred other people are not selling, right. well, then you're going to be good to go. So that's, that's what I aim to teach people is number one, how to study what people are looking for. And then number two, how to apply that to a product. Right. And then number three, how to launch it with confidence, right? How to develop it and launch it with confidence. So by the end of this month in the mastermind, you will have a list of ideas ready to go, a list of products. So you're going to have a list of ideas that you validated, and then you're going to have a list of products from those ideas. And I'm going to teach you how to pick the winners from those product, from that product list. And so just to be clear, you can join anytime. 
and yeah. you'll receive the back and you, if you're just joining your group now you still get the content and all the information from the prior weeks or a month correct yeah so you get 60 days at a time and then there's different levels right so if you are just joining at our base level which is only 49 dollars a month mm -hmm. i mean it's like incredibly <laughs> incredibly affordable so you're getting if for that $49 a month you're getting the full listing optimization master class I mean when you get through that class alone you could start your own agency it's that in depth I mean you've seen it right um, so and then this month's curriculum which is all about understanding your numbers and coming up with that sourcing list so that's what you get right now is the last the last 30 days of content and then this 30 days of content so you can upgrade as well. We have a course library. So if you upgrade to our $99 level, you get access to our full course library. So um, that's outside of the Facebook group. You get to go and um, access our, our course library. We have a course on um, Google ads, how to set up Google ads to your Amazon products. We have a course on reimbursements, how to file reimbursements. Um, and you know, we also have the listing optimization masterclass is uploaded to our course, our course um, thing. So you can go into the whole course, you know, you can get what you need when you need it. And then as we record these sessions for the new course, they'll also be published on the website for people at that level. Um, and then we also have a, like a, a, what we call a master's level membership, which also includes like some one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. So you can look at what you need. You can upgrade or downgrade at any time. It's, you know, it's not, um, it's not one of those like lock you in, you know, pay $6,000 and it's not, not like that at all. It's more like I want to reach as many people as I can. I want to help people with this. It's not a typical Amazon course. This is not how to launch a product on Amazon. Now I can teach you how to launch a product on Amazon all day long. And we actually recommend that you start on Amazon and your own website as your, as your sales channels, because they're super powerful channels. Right. But mm -hmm. I want people to understand the foundation, the foundation that they need to be able to be successful in any channel. I know a lot of people are scared right now. All their eggs are in Amazon's basket, right? And Amazon all of a sudden was like, you can't do removal orders. We're not shipping out your stuff. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Like someone has over your business. <laughs> exactly. So it's, it's not that, it's not that I don't think Amazon is amazing and I don't want to help you with that. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I want you to be a beast. I want you to understand how to launch products with confidence on Amazon and beyond, you know, and, and also have those products that are really easily scalable into other channels, whether it's, you know, getting on walmart.com or Shet or, you know, whatever channels are good for your product, um, whether that's even moving into brick and mortar channels. Whatever right. it is, you know, and maybe you don't want to scale that far, right? Maybe you don't, you don't want to scale beyond your own website or Amazon or anything like that. That's okay. But it's really great to know what your options are. It's really great to be prepared to be flexible. And that way, if Amazon shuts you down, you go, wow, that really sucked, but it's not the end of my business. Yeah, absolutely. Now, do you, is there any other kind of one-on-one uh, -on -one training or any other things that you offer with us courses? Yeah, so we do the, um, there isn't any one-on-one -on -one training, obviously, because I'm, uh, I'm one person. I have a great team and I have awesome mentors that are in the mastermind with us that, you know, will be available to answer questions and stuff like that besides me. Um, but you know, as far as like one-on-one -on -one time, that's why we have the, the higher level. Um, but what's really great about it is, you know, and just the last couple of days, I've seen people asking like tax questions in there and fulfillment questions. And before I can even get to it, the other founders in the mastermind group are like, Oh, this is what I use. This is what I use. And this morning we were talking about payment providers, like, um, setting up for, we have a lot of people that are, um, overseas sellers, right. Um, that sell on amazon.com, amazon.au, um, Amazon Europe. So, um, and then of course their own websites. Um, some of them are moving into brick and mortar, you know, so we have people of all different uh, experience levels and they're really just, when you're in a group like this, you, when you're paying to be in a group like this, like you want that, you want to be able to talk to other people and help each other and lift each other up. And it's like this trusted environment, you know? So it's just really, it's been really cool to see that because this is a new mastermind group for me, you know? 
So it's been really cool to see that as people are asking questions before I can even get to them, <laughs> they're like all, all over it. So yes, but as far as um, one-on-one, -on -one, we just do um, the, that would be the higher level or you can book coaching at any time because you actually save 10% on all of our services. Plus we have trusted service providers like you guys and you get discounts and exclusives with some of our trusted service providers. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a really good, good deal all around for, um, especially for what you're paying for it. And how can they find out more? Yeah. So McLean is going to post a link. <laughs> She's got an amazing link. Um, but it's at amazing at home.com slash mastermind slash R E F slash two five. So check that out. And McLean will post that link for you. Um, in the group, but check, check it out and, um, and let me know, reach out if you have any questions at all, and I'm happy to answer them. Um, uh, yeah, as we said, we kick off tonight. So excited to, to get after this. And then right away on Monday, we will have our second class, which is maximizing profits. And if you're joining now, you'll also get access to the listing optimization masterclass from last month. Absolutely. And if you have any questions for that link, you can also email me at McLean Warren at liaisonmarketing.com. Thank you so much for coming on, Amy. It was so much fun seeing you and talking to you. Yeah, thanks for having me. I really, it's, it's awesome. You've been doing some amazing blogs and stuff lately. You've been like featuring all the cool people. So I feel very cool to be in. All the cool people, included. yeah. All yeah, the cool that's, people. That's the <laughs> <laughs> Making my way up. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one.